What's up YouTube, I'm Mike and today I am back with the latest breaking news on Trimblone Science. Uh, I, I cannot tell you how much it pains me to make this video because nothing in the world pisses me off more than being proven wrong. And I just actually found out that I have been in fact wrong all along about the toxicity of Trimblone. It's all, I mean, it's not entirely my fault uh, because I just was unfortunately looking in all of the wrong places. So what I'm going to be sharing with you today is the newest, most irrefutable proof of the, the absolute toxicity of Trimblone, also known as 17-beta Trimblone. This, guys, unfortunately is not bro science. It's, uh, it's actually uh, been revealed to me from the stars. Uh, that's right. If you have been following my channel for any length of time, you will know that I have chronic digestive prob problems. And one of the things that I just mentioned in one of my previous trend videos was that every time I start taking trend, it absolutely crushes my um, my uh, my uh, uh, appetite. I, I can't eat. I start getting burning stomach, all of these digestive problems. Basically, digestive problems, processing food has been really the bane of my existence since I began doing steroids. It's, I've said in a number of videos that the, the number one limiting factor to me being able to grow on any compound is the fact that I cannot get food down. So when I go to look for a problem in my body, you know, when I go to try to refute all of this bro science, or pseudoscience that's floating around out there, I, you know, I go to confirm whether or not there's any signs, for example, that Trimblone is hepatoxic, which was the first myth that I thought I had busted. So I ran Trimblone for an extended period of time, I got my blood work done, and lo and behold, I found that there was nothing wrong with my liver. Um, I have had my kidney function checked on multiple, multiple occasions over the course of running Trimblone for in excess of a year at a time with no signs of any kidney distress. Unfortunately, what I found out today is that um, that's not where I should expect to find the problems because I happen to be a Virgo. And if you know anything about, about zodiac signs and bodily organs, then you'll know that the zodiac signs basically predict what parts of your body you will have problems with. So lo and behold, guess what I found out? Uh, Virgos have problems with their intestine, intestines, abdomen, spleen, pancreas, esophagus, intestines, and digestive system. So clearly what's been happening all this time that I've been saying that this compound or th that compound, specifically Trimbolone, is not hepatoxic, neurotoxic, kidney toxic. It, it's the, the problem is that it's just not toxic in me because of the fact that I'm a Virgo. The evidence of the toxicity of the Trimblone molecule has been present every time I ran, ran a Trimblone cycle in the fact that I've been having these intestinal and digestive system problems. Um, I suspect that my pancreas is probably being wrecked by the Trimblone and that's causing the bile issues and why I'm not able to digest food in an efficient rate. So let me go ahead and run down this, this star chart for all of you guys because the problem is, is that we're going to have to understand that this, like so many other cases in the medical community, this is not a one size fits all kind of situation. In the way that I happen to be a person who aromatizes an excessive amount of estrogen where one guy can take 200, 300 milligrams of test and, and have no gyno, no apparent E2 problems. Everybody's body is different. And it seems that all we ever had to do was to look to the stars to find out why. So if you happen to be an Aries, then in your case, you're likely going to be experiencing issues in the head and face region, primarily in the supra, supra renals, your adrenal glands, and your eyes. So if you're running Trimbolone and you happen to be 
a Aries, you should definitely probably be looking out for degenerative eye conditions, adrenal gland issues. You probably should be making sure that your doctor is staying on top of your adrenals because that's likely where this evil toxic trend blown molecule is going to rear its ugly head. If you happen to be a Taurus, then you're going to be in the neck, throat, and jaw area of the body. So thyroid and sensory organs are going to be the things that you're going to want to look out for. So if you are running Trenbolone and you're a Taurus, you're definitely going to want to stay on top of your thyroid condition. This is likely why I'm not having to take any T3 or T4. I don't have any thyroid issues where some guys report having massive thyroid issues. I'm going to go ahead and suggest with the infinite intelligence that I've just received from the stars that the reason some of you guys are having uh, thyroid issues is due to the fact that you are a Taurus. If you happen to be a Gemini, then you're going to want to look out for hands, arms, and lungs, particularly the thymus, the respiratory, and nervous system. So for you guys, Trenbolone might be neurotoxic. It might, it might not be good for your respiration. You guys might be the ones that are, that are prone to the dreaded trend cough because being a Gemini, your respiratory system is going to be your weakness. So when you're going to get your blood work done, make sure your doctor's on top of your thymus. Make sure you get, um, you know, chest X-ray. Make sure that you you stay on top of any potential problems that should, could be going on in your nervous system. You might be prone to rheumatoid arthritis. Maybe, maybe you experience like the, um, you know, if you take GH, you might be experiencing the the carpal tunnel syndrome from the the fluid pressing on the nerves in your uh, in your arms that's primarily where you guys are going to be at if you are a cancer then you're going to need to be watching out for breast stomach gallbladder primarily the mammary glands uh, body containers that retain water so if you're a cancer you know you might need to be looking out for also stomach issues gallbladder issues uh, breast cancers could potentially be a problem and you might be more prone than others to retain water so when you see that strange you know person in the comments section that tells you they're retaining water on trenbolone and we all want to jump on their ass and be like that's crazy trenbolone is known for drying you out it's probably just because they happen to be cancers, and cancers are known for retaining water. If you're a Leo, then you're going to want to look out for the heart, back, and spine. So if, it, you know, in my non, obviously none of this is medical uh, advice, clearly. This is uh, spiritual advice. Uh, this is cosmological advice that I'm giving here. I'm just passing down to you what has been revealed to me. So, you know, that, that's as far as you should be taking any of this information. Obviously, uh, none of it is going to be backed up by a fucking peer-reviewed study. But it seems pretty clear that from the data that I have before me, we can draw some pretty conclusive conclusions um, as to why our bodies are all reacting differently to the toxic effects of Trimbolone. So if you're a Leo, you should probably just stay the fuck away from steroids, period, because your issues are going to be heart, back, and spine uh, with a focus on heart and major arteries. So that would go a long way to explaining why you've got these random bodybuilders who suddenly have coronary artery disease at the age of 24. I reported on a case just the other day about a guy who was 24 years old. He'd been using steroids for a couple of years. He goes to the hospital with no historic, with no history of heart disease, and he's got a 70% blockage in his major coronary arteries. I would be willing to bet you, obviously, now that we know the truth, now that we've really figured out what's been going on all along, we're probably dealing with a, with a case where this guy was a Leo, and so that's why he had this bizarre reaction to the cardiotoxic effects of Trenbolone. Uh, again, I already hit on Virgos, so we are pancreas, pancreas, esophagus, intestines, and digestive system. If you happen to be a Libra, you're going to want to watch out for your lower back, kidneys, and bladder. 
So like I just made the video saying that the Trimbolone is not kidney toxic. Uh, it's not kidney toxic to me and the, and the vast majority of the rest of humanity who doesn't happen to be um, a, a Libra. But if you're a Libra, then you should definitely be staying on top of your kidney function. You're probably going to want to drink excessive amounts of fluids. Make sure you get all of your blood work done on a regular basis to make sure that you're not experiencing any of the dreaded trenbolone uh, a nephrotoxicity or renal toxicity because uh, the kidneys are going to be your major limiting factor. Also going to want to stay on top of your endocrine system in general. So you may just be all fucked up when it comes to hormones <laughs> if you're a Libra uh, because the, the entire, the endocrine system is what we're all playing with at the end of the day here. So there's no telling what you might have, be, might have going on. Um, then moving on down to Scorpio, uh, the Scorpio's Ugh, it's not looking good for you guys. Um, for Scorpios, it's genitals, colon, rectum. The reproductive and elimination systems. So if you, if you are a Scorpio, um, you may be unusually prone to uh, ED problems with drugs like Trenbolone. You may be having bladder issues, which could lead to kidney issues. So if you're noticing a lot of really dark urine on Trenbolone, where the guy next to you seems to be perfectly clear, not having any problems, you guys are using the same brand and the same dose, you can't figure out why your urine looks like fucking tea and his looks like lemonade, it's probably just on account of the fact that you are a Scorpio and he is not. Um, for the Sagittarius's in the group, you're going to be want to you're going to want to look out for hips and thighs, primarily the liver, hepatic system, and pituitary gland. This is probably what Dave Palumbo falls into because we know that Dave had a pituitary tumor. So um, those of you who are Sagittarius are definitely going to look out for the dreaded trenbolone hepatoxicity that we're always hearing about. Uh, clearly anyone who's been making the claim that trenbolone is hepatoxic in spite of all of the fucking data that says that it's not, it's probably not that these people were malicious liars. It's probably not that they were ignorant, bro science, you know, regurgitating fucktards. It's probably just that they happen to be Sagittarius, and so they, their weakness is going to be in the liver and hepatic system. Uh, moving on down the list, we have Capricorn. Capricorns are sensitive to knees, bone, skin, teeth, and skeletal system. So you guys seem to be doing pretty good as far as steroids go. I'm guessing fucking Capricorns are winning fucking Olympia trophies left and fucking right because they should be able to handle just about anything they throw at the body Although maybe that's the reason that you see that random like NBA player go up for a rebound and then just fucking snap his fucking femur in half or what's the, the what's the bone uh, between your not the femur whatever the fuck is between your knee and your ankle uh, and just break that uh, maybe it's just due to the fact that he was a Capricorn and very unlucky in the skeletal system. Two more on the list, we've got Aquarius. Aquarius is going to be looking for calves, veins, and circulatory systems. So if I had to guess, I would say Nick Walker must be a fucking Aquarius with all of those nasty looking fucking leg veins he's got. So Aquarius is also going to be looking for the pineal gland, pineal gland, blood, and circulation system. So if you're an Aquarius and you're taking Trimbolone, you're definitely going to be, want to be looking out for any kind of coagulation problems, blood clotting issues issues. Um, maybe you're a good donor of, of adrenochrome, which is uh, produced in the pineal gland. If you are, uh, if you do happen to be an Aquarius, whatever you do for the love of God, stay the fuck away from Oprah Winfrey. It is, it is apparently been found out that the reason that Oprah Winfrey looks freakishly young for her, for her age is that be, it's because she has been dining on adrenochrome, adrenochrome that is apparently being harvested from God knows who. So if you're an Aquarius, I don't know where the fuck Oprah Winfrey lives, but you're going to want to stay the hell away from her and any other rich old people who look suspiciously young for their age because you are probably a, a viable candidate 
to have your adrenochrome uh, harvested. Lastly on the list we have Pisces and they are weak in the feet. So watch out for the lymphatic system and the pituitary gland. Again, this could maybe maybe Palumbo happened to be a Pisces as there seems to be some carryover on the pituitary gland, but you're definitely going to be want to watch out for your lymphatic system. So lymphoma might be the name of the game for you if you are abusing uh, steroids because it is known, steroids are known to cause lympho, lymphocytopenia as I recently discovered. So if you happen to notice some swelling of the lymph nodes and you are a Pisces, that could be the explanation for it. So there you have it guys. Uh, when I'm wrong, I say I'm wrong, and I could not have possibly been more wrong about how clearly fucking toxic Trinbolone is. Um, I should have been able to have a broader view of the community at large. Unfortunately, I got bogged down in the actual science of the thing. You know, it's kind of one of those situations where you can't see the forest for the trees. I was too busy, like, studying the actual actual chemistry and the actual clinical research and the actual study data on humans and animals and I was jumping to these crazy conclusions that all of these anecdotal reports from bodybuilders all over the world couldn't possibly be true because there's just no reason based on the actual scientific data that trend would that, that trend alone would be neurotoxic hepatoxic renal toxic toxic in any fucking way there's just nothing scientifically to support the idea that Trenbolone is toxic and it just took me basically stepping outside of myself and being quiet with my thoughts long enough for the heavens to reveal the truth to me. So uh, if you have any doubts on this, I will link in the description to this video this uh, guide to the body parts and the zodiac so that you can find your sign and figure out what it is that you need to be aware of before you decide to embark on a steroid cycle or really just live life in general because these things are going to likely affect you in all facets of your life. So there you have it. As always, uh, thank you for watching and I would like to uh, just apologize deeply for everyone who I have potentially offended in the past by suggesting that you were uh, complete imbeciles, uh, bro science regurgitators, pseudoscientists, hacks, morons, all of the just vicious things that I tend to say about people um, that seem to have um, absolutely no brain power at all. Uh, I, I, I apologize. I was wrong. Uh, I, it, it never occurred to me that uh, the, the location of the stars at the moment of your birth could have such a profound effect on the way our bodies process steroids. But uh, there you have it. I think that this really puts this topic to rest. So please, share this video, like this video, go talk to Vigorous Steve, Greg Doucette, more plates, more dates. Get out into the community and when you're commenting on other people's videos, when people are asking questions, you will now have the latest data that you can regurgitate. So you can let people know, look, the toxicity of Trenbolone is purely dependent on what your zodiac sign is and then maybe you can share this data with them so that we can spread this around the community and make sure everyone at large has the most up-to-date research because like I said in the beginning my channel has always been about um, empowering people to make conscientious decisions and harm reduction. So there you go as always thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one.